Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's session. Today's webinar is on the topic decision making under risk. Now, this is the third webinar in the series. In the first webinar, we spoke about the basis of decision making. In the second one, we spoke about decision making at the time of uncertainties. And in today's webinar, we'll be speaking about decision making under risk. Okay, in decision making under risk, we have two different methods. The first method is expected monetary value method or we call it EMV method or expected opportunity loss method or EOL method. So we will first of all look into what is EMV method. Now in decision making under risk with probability, we will just look into what are the basics. So here what happens is the decision maker will take the decision considering the risk involved. Now there is a little bit of risk involved. So decision maker will look into that particular risk. At the same time, he will develop probabilities for various alternatives. Now the first method over here is expected monetary value method. So here we calculate the monetary value of each act using probabilities that is given. Now we don't have to worry with this because the probabilities we don't have to calculate it or anything. It's all, it will be already given in the uh, question. So we find the profit value. So we select the maximum. So in case of expected monetary value, we go for the maximum value. But at the same time, EOL is expected opportunity loss. Now, um, about opportunity loss, I had already explained in my previous webinar what is opportunity loss. For those people who have not watched my previous webinar, I would just summarize. Now, opportunity loss can be explained something like this. Like on uh, one day morning when you woke up, you feel like you're not ready for a class. You don't want to go to college. So you feel like you go for a movie and hang out with friends and have some good food from the restaurants and all. So at the same time in the class, you had a uh, exam. So what happens is like, the, what you are getting is you're getting fun you're getting frolic you enjoy but what you're losing you're losing the internal marks you're losing the knowledge you are missing the class so that is what is known as expected opportunity that has been lost so in this method we calculate the expected opportunity loss criterion of each act using probabilities so the probability that has already been given we find the expected loss opportunity loss so since this is a loss matrix, we find the minimum value. So minimum value will be found out here. Okay, here we find the maximum value and in here we find the minimum value. Okay, so with this basic understanding, we will try to find out, uh, we will try to solve a question. Now you are given with a payoff table and in the payoff table, you have strategies and states of nature. Now. Uh, we could just summarize like here the strategies are um, you can invest in bonds you can invest in stocks or you can invest in mutual funds at the same time uh, the market is something like growing stable and declining this is the states of nature you're also given the probabilities of the different states of nature for growing it is 0.5 for stable it is 0.1 for declining it is point four okay so uh, with this let us uh, try to uh, understand a little bit in depth so here we have to understand which strategy is the is to be used for the best one whether we have to and uh, you have to understand whether we should invest in bonds or invest in stocks or invest in mutual funds okay so uh, let us do this in expected monetary value method uh, it's very simple you just have to look in in column wise you know look at the uh, first column of bonds you have the propos probability as 0.5 and the bond value as point minus 35 now what is minus 35 minus 35 is that he is incurring a loss that is why he is having minus 35 what is 150 120 120 is that he is having a profit that is why it is plus sign now here uh, when you look into uh, this particular bonds 
you have 0.5 and you multiply it with this uh, minus 35. So 0.5 into minus 35 and uh, then you have 0 0.1 into 250. 0 0.1 into 250 and then you have 0 0.4 into 550. 0 0.4 into 550 and you add these things you get a number. Similarly, you find for the next one for probabilities for you for stocks 0 0.5 into 120 that is what has been written here 0 0.1 into minus 130 so 0 0.1 into minus 130 is here and 0 0.4 into 650 0 0.4 into 650 is there okay so ultimately what you get an answer is 285 now similarly for mutual funds you multiply like this 0 0.5 into minus 100 that is here then 0 0.1 into 200 that's here and 0 0.4 into 700 that is here okay so you get a total of 250 now i hope you understood what 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 has been happening here i will complete everything and i'll come back later so out of the three values that we get you have to find out the biggest value or the maximum value since this is a profit matrix you have to maximize the profit so out of these 227 285 and 250 the maximum is 285 that is actually the stocks so you the investing in stocks will be best strategy as per expected monetary value okay now we will look into the next one that is expected opportunity loss for this we will just look into the question once again now opportunity loss uh, if you can watch my previous webinar you can you will get more clarity but uh, here I will try to make you understand as how you ought to do this particular problem when you find this question on oppor uh, ex opportunity loss metrics or when you when you make that opportunity loss metrics you have to look in row wise now in this particular row what is the maximum value what is the maximum value in this particular row that is 120 now this 120 has to be subtracted from minus 35 and minus 100 okay so now in the second one what is the maximum value here in the second one what is the maximum value here the maximum value is one second the maximum value is 250 now you subtract 250 from all the three values similarly what is the maximum value here it is 700 minus 700 from all the three values okay now i'll come to the uh, metrics here here what we have is 120 minus of minus 35 you get 135 this was what i was speaking earlier 120 minus 120 is 0 120 minus of minus 100 you get 220 so similarly you find all these values and once you find all these values what you have to do next is similarly what you did in the uh, previous uh, expected monetary value method so here in expected monetary expected opportunity loss you uh, 0.5 into 155 see this 0.5 into 155 plus 0.1 into 0 and 0 0.4 into 150 so i'm not explaining for everything you just have to multiply like this and then add and then add everything now 0 0.5 into 220 plus 0 0.1 into 50 plus 0 0.4 into 0 that is what has been done here so you will get three values 137 80 and 115 so since this is an opportunity loss it's a loss matrix you have to minimize the loss and how do you minimize the loss you take the minimum number so minimum number among 137 80 and 115 is 80 so you take that particular strategy that is stocks invest in stocks so minimum value selected investing in stocks will be best as per expected opportunity loss metrics 
okay now i'll just summarize once again so for expected monetary value you will have to find out the um this 0 0.5 into minus 35 0.1 into 250 0 0.4 into 550 and add them similarly do it for stocks and mutual funds and among the three values you calculate the maximum value now in the case of uh, expected opportunity loss you will have to find first of all find out the opportunity loss in this particular row find which is the maximum and then subtract it from the other three numbers the resultant number has to be multiplied with the uh, corresponding probability so probability and you um, correspondingly multiply and then add you will get a number and among the three numbers that you got you take the minimum number and the minimum number the particular strategy will be the expected opportunity loss strategy thank you students i hope you understood about expected opportunity loss as well as expected monetary value now let us check into a practice question now i'll read the question first of all just mm, go along with me Mr. X quite often flies from town A to town B. He can use the airport bus which costs rupees 25. But if he takes it, there is a 0 0.08 chance that he will miss the flight. The stay in a hotel costs rupees 270 with 0.96 chance of being on time for the flight. For rupees 350, he can use a taxi which will make 0.99 chance of being on time for the flight if mr x catches the plane on time he will conclude a business transaction which will produce a return of rupees 10000 otherwise he will lose it which mode of transport should mr x use answer on the basis of emv criterion expected monetary value criterion now uh, this question has to be solved only with emv value so you don't have to bother about the eol criteria now we will dissect the question because the question has set and with the help of this clues we'll have to make a uh, payoff table now we will uh, check like this we have three different strategies like he can uh, he can reach the uh, airport in three different methods he can catch a bus he can catch he can stay in a hotel or he can uh, get a taxi so he can use a taxi so these are the three different uh, strategies or uh, alternatives at the same time he can either catch a flight or he might miss the flight these are the states of nature now we look at the values that is given i just hi have highlighted them now the taxi the bus will cost him rupees 25 the stay in a hotel will cost him rupees 270 and for a taxi he'll have to pay rupees 350 if he reaches the destination he will end up getting 10000 because he will get a business transaction so this is the money part that has been explained now there are some pos probabilities that has been explained it is said that he will miss the flight if he takes a bus there is a pos 0 0.08 chance that he will miss the flight now with the uh, basic calculation we can understand if, if the possible probability of missing the flight is 0 0.08 the probability of uh, being on time for the flight would be 0 0.08 minus 1 that would be 0.92 so since all the other cases it is given chance of being on time for the flight chance of being on time for the flight we'll have to change this also to being on time okay so if he takes a bus he would be 92 percent chance that he will reach on time if he takes hotel he would 96 percent he would get the flight and if he takes a taxi 99 percent he will get the flight now with these uh, um, data that has been given we can make the uh, payoff table now only confusion or, or only little bit of brain to be applied is only in this particular portion now here the cost involved is if he catches the flight he would definitely get 10,000 but what he loses is since he is catching the bus bust will incur in rupees 25 so 10,000 minus 25 so it is 9975 
Now, what is the probability value? 0 0.08 minus 1. I already explained it would be 0.92. So, that is the explanation of this particular bus area. Now, if he stays in hot tail and since he is catching the flight, he get 10,000, but he will lose 270. Probab uh, since the, pos the probability value is 0 0.96. So, how, that is how I explain this. 10,000 minus 270 is 9730 into this value. Now, here, this is the taxi thing. Here, he will get, since he is catching the flight, he will get 10,000, but he will lose 350 when he uh, gives the uh, taxi fare. So, 10,000 minus 350 is 9650, and the probability is 99 percentage, 0.99. Similarly, if we look whether if he misses the flight, he would he would lose 25 rupees of the bus. At the same time, he will not get 10,000. So it is a minus. It is a loss minus 25. What is the probable prob possibility that he lose the fight? It is 0 0.08. Now here, expected 0 0.2 minus 0.25 into 0 0.08 is the expected. So you have to find the answer for this. Now here in staying a hotel. What happens? Minus 250. He will have to pay 250 and the possibility is 0 0.04. 1 minus 0 0.96, 0 0.04. So you get the answer. Now in taxi, he will lose 350 and at the same time 99%, 1 minus 0.99, you will get one to the conclusion part. The solution would be you will, you will get uh, point 0.9177 and minus 2. You will have to add them both. So you will get 9175. Here you get 9340.80 and minus 10.80. Add them both. You will get 9330. Here 9553.50 and minus, this is actually a minus, sorry for this, minus 0.35. So you get 9550. So this is the expected monetary value and you'll have to find the maximum. So among 9175, 9330 and 9550, the maximum is 9550. You, so the strategy to be adopted is that he can take the taxi. So taking the taxi is the most logical alternative. So this is how you solve this particular problem. Thanks for listening.